Hello. Hi. Welcome to Let's Play 25 Years of Final Fantasy. This is Final Fantasy 7. My name is Ryan. This is Claire. And we're trying to figure out how to get to Junin Harbor. And I'm just having Cloud do a little run around right now. I think you've now come to the exit of the Mithril Caves. Yes, I think we're back where we started. So southwest of here should be Fort Fondor, and then further west is where we need to go. I think... I think you're right. Um, we've done some materia redistribution. Yeah, yeah it's really strong. It's a nice fire, too. Mm -hmm. um, Yuffie's in the back row. Uh, Cloud is in the back row with the long range materia and cover, like someone suggested. Uh, Did we determine if uh, you can play with Cloud not in your party? Um, good question. I mean, I, I know you just spent a bunch of time figuring this shit out. Well, that's a good point. I don't. No, you can't. Yeah, okay. There are points in the game where you do get to do that, but, um... Because I have a vague concern about people not in the party not giving getting experience as fast. That is why I rotated <coughs> Harrison, um, yeah. so that we could do that. Uh, attack and attack and steal. And for steal, some reason... Steal more? Yeah, I'm going to try and remember to do that. I should also check the names of these guys. A renewed commitment to stealing. <laughs> in this new, in this new presidency. Oh, I didn't even look. Claire. Oh, uh, Neurosef Neurosufaroth. Yeah, we saw this last time. Yeah, I forgot. They're Sephiroth's dogs. Sufaroth. Surferoth. Surferoth. Ha 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 Neuro Surferoths. <laughs> Neo Surferoth. Oh, and this is for Condor. Okay. Isn't Nero like a... It's a Roman emperor. Okay. I knew he was Roman something. I couldn't think of God or just historical figure. Yeah, you know, he was the one that... Uh, the famous fiddled while Rome burned character. He fiddled? He fi well, apparently. They had fiddles. I... <laughs> this is a lot of questions here. I didn't realize we're implicit in, my, in that story, but uh, apparently... Perhaps he strung the loot. <laughs> The saying doesn't isn't strum to loot well Rome burn. Well it's because it doesn't flow as <laughs> trippingly off the tongue. True. Um well I'm doing some historical reading. I'll let you know what I find out. I picked up a few more books because I got really excited from the library the other day. Uh, this book called SPQR by Mary Beard. It's about the early republic. Um, the name of the book is SPQR. Yeah, it's it is oh I couldn't reach. Um, it's an abbreviation for Senatus Populusque Romanum, Romanus, the Senate and the Roman people. Which I guess was like a thing at the time. It's some highfalutin book titling right there. It's some highfalutin book titling. Apparently it's a pretty accessible book, which is kind of what I needed, because I'm really liking... Uh, I think I fucked up the title last time, but the book is called A Civilization of the Middle Ages by Norman F. Cantor, which is kind of like one of the classics, I think, in that, like, you know, popular history, medieval history books. Hmm. Um, but anyway, speaking of, I've also got, I haven't done this in a long time, but I've got a record of the week. Would you oh, like to hear that? Goodness. I know, it's been a long time. Um, why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, Grand Spark. I keep thinking this is a thing, and I it's, think it's it? actually a thing. Yeah, we've been told. And I confirmed it. Uh, um, um, we should choke him up as much as humanly possible so that we get the, the other yeah. choke him up. I'll keep doing it. Move. I'm trying to, I don't know why I'm trying to conserve MP, but I guess I, <laughs> I, guess I am. Um, <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't no, worry about it. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of like um, mm -hmm. English folk rock from the 70s. Like this kind of like weird, it has like kind of a medieval vibe mixed with a hippie vibe mixed, mixed with like a prog like nerd fantasy vibe and it's kind of amazing um, but there's there's a lot of cool bands uh, but the one album that I like the most right now is by Fairport Convention which is the name of the band <laughs> and, the, and the album is called Le Liege and Leaf L-I-E-F and it's I really really like it it's really good like Leaf Garrett uh <laughs> no actually um I think he was L-E-I-F was he? I think so. Hmm. Like the Viking name. Like Leif Erikson. I, I can't even think of it at all. Of which way it would be. Now that I 
should try to think of it. I actually don't know what L-I-E-F means, now that I think about it. The F. Life. <laughs> Maybe it's just a typo. <laughs> I don't think it is, but... I, Maybe they fucked up. Mistakes are made, occasionally. <laughs> yeah, this map just made it look a lot closer. You're on the other side right now. So. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm running down here for some reason. Alright. I wanted to. I have to check out every peninsula. Cloud is nuts about peninsula. I mean, <laughs> just loves a good peninsula. <laughs> Who doesn't? Also, I. <laughs> subscribes to Peninsula Enthusiast Monthly. <laughs> Which I incidentally publish. It's. Um, very narrow audience. Yeah, very narrow. Narrow like a peninsula. <laughs> ah, found it. Dang. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed. I don't really know how to characterize them, but I really enjoyed the reactions to my obsessive Yuffie slash leveling behavior. Yes, <laughs> I, I especially enjoyed learning that the later you go in the game, the more likely you are to just I trip know over that. Yuffie later, <laughs> which tells me that really. <laughs> You'd have to be unlucky to have a playthrough of the game where you never encounter it. Yeah, that is... I had. I did not know that. Um, also, the potential that she might be easier to find in the smaller forests... Um, that... Was that I, I feel. I feel is unconfirmed at this point. Yeah, no, it's hypothetical. Uh, theoretical, that's what I mean. Look how teensy we are. You're um, very tiny. It's a little bit Anyway, I appreciate everyone's... Um, Understanding. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe square, square quotes around the way. So I'm hoping that there aren't any other things that are like that that we want to do while oh. we're in the main quest. Um, I'm, I'm sure that there are rare encounters and shit and whatever, but yeah, I'm talking about like... That's the major thing a, that I remember. A main playable character. I don't think there's anything quite like that. There, the side quests... It's only pseudo spoiler, like just for the process wise, it's not the same for Vincent. And, um. I don't think it's a spoiler to talk about Vincent when he's literally. He has his own game. Right. He's on the cover of uh, Dirge of Service. Yeah, I think you ever, like, you know about him. I mean, he's probably. We've probably seen him in the book already. Our, I'm sure he was on, like, the here. back cover of the goddamn game if you had the PlayStation 1 discs. So I know. True. I mean, he's described in the intro to this book. And I think you might actually possibly be in the manual for the game. There you go. There um, you even go. There you even go. Anyway, um, the only thing, there's one area I think where we could potentially spend some time, um, but it's 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 not grinding, strictly speaking. Mm. So. A bit different. Did we get a new weapon for Yuffie? Uh, yeah, I feel like we she did. starts off with the boomerang. You yeah. know what? I don't think we actually did. Um, you, you gave her some kind of knife or something. Yeah. I don't know what she's got. It looks like a knife. Maybe, oh, maybe... Oh, nuts. No, she has been right. Oh. She started with a four-point shuriken. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm going to show you the shuriken just so you can see it. It's the, it's her, like, starting classic weapon mm -hmm. that she carries in the character arc. It's that... It's, it's that kind of weird four-point thing. Yeah. yeah. Just so you can see it once, I figured. Um, I like to see them. Yeah, that is like not a shuriken, right? It is. It is gigantic. It's like a giant shuriken. Like not what? Not like at all though. Like bigger than her. <laughs> um. Okay. So this is her with it. Might be able to see it. This camera angle is not the best. Thanks, camera. Did she throw it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well. You kind of can't. Yeah, see I can't. From can't this see the shit at all. Camera. Come on! Ooh, and Yuffie's Limit Break. That's exciting. There you go, you got a good shot Grease of it. Lightning. Grease Lightning! Wow. It's kinda neat. She hits once and then hits again <laughs> back there or something? And I absolutely love her dance. Um, but there, you got to see it. There we go. Before we give her an, a li literal boomerang. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the boomerang, much more realistic into the proportion. I thought it was a knife, but it's a <laughs> boomerang, but I mean, it's right. like, they're in the same neighborhood. Also, apparently we need to punch a chocobo at some point. Oh, yeah. We've been told this. Actually, you know what? I should pull up the thread and just see what, what else. Okay, well, before we go to Juno, I want to go back to those tracks real quick. And I will do that for us. 
Punch a chocobo. Oh. <laughs> I thought you, you meant take us back to the chocobo tracks. I was like, I hope so, because I'm certainly not. I don't and have I will do that. I <laughs> yeah. will be the one to do oh, all that. Well, heavy thank you lifting. for deigning to walk us back <laughs> to the chocobo tracks. I'm still yes. thankful that anybody still watches our show. People do still want to see the weapons, so it's good to Yeah, weapons and spells and summons and everything like that. I'm going to try and be more consistent about... Uh... Oh, we're getting heat winged. Oh, dear. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty serious. Now, we were told, enemy outside Midgar, pretty good enemy skill. Also, it's a cool looking enemy to boot, but maybe you're too far ahead in the recording to go for that now. I mean, we could go back, but I have a feeling that we will have a more. We'll be way back to get in the there, area right? eventually, yeah, once we. Yeah. I ain't worried about that. Um. Trigobo has two attacks, which we know. We should make a Trigobo angry at least once. They have an enemy skill to teach us. Am I going the wrong way? Am I going the right way? Am I going the wrong way? Uh. Gosh, damn it. Yeah, go down left. Uh, er. Yeah, I think it's over there. Maybe? Something like that. I need to see more of this map. Okay. Well, we're just starting off with a bang right now. Yeah, just getting home. Junin's really cool, so I, it'll be worth it once we get there, but... Just so much to see on this gosh darn world map. People were semi disappointed that we didn't fight the Midgar Zolom, but like, see, the that's game the game tells of, you not to. I know. So like, that's also the kind of thing. Like, uh, I think I might have talked to you about this before, but like, I, there were certain games like Fallout that I played so many times, but for some reason, there were just like processes that I had in my head that you just do every time. So like, I I would play it over and over, but like, very rarely would I deviate from those like. Yeah. Expected paths, so I think this is one of them. I just like I was like had it in my head that the Midgar Zolom is very dangerous, yeah. and that we will die. But I didn't think about it. It so does have a very powerful enemy skill that we can get if we feel like doing. I that. don't. I still don't know if we could kill it. Um, That's true. You do have to kill it, don't you? I think so. Yeah, you can't die. <laughs> kind of. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's coming from Choker, right? So Choker is probably like level 99 at this point in his form as he's like, <laughs> so he's like, yeah, just, you know, get the enemy skill from Midgar Zolom, no problem. You, yeah, you, hit, you hit 99 in Midgar, right? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Choker. Shout out to Choker. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you shit. <laughs> we got a Chocobo right off the bat, too. Sick. Punch it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Dick. It, it started the cursor on my... when I hit down on us. Helpful. This is a really bad... Yeah, move. this is what I'm saying. What the... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so upsetting. Um, also, it got mad and ran away. I'm not really sure what it was Just supposed to happen there. Just with you trying to target things. We were supposed to kill it? I don't... I guess if you punch it, maybe it gets angry at you. I did punch it, and it just went work, work, and ran in a circle. Maybe if you punch it a lot, I don't know. I'll try one more time in a not goofy camera angle. Fight. It makes me it makes me wonder if you can actually kill a Chocobo. You totally can. Okay. I think. I guess yeah. If it's giving you a enemy skill, you must be able to defeat it. Yeah, which is kind of depressing. Fort Condor. This this Fort Condor. Stuff is just so insane. I know. I forgot that. I think that it gives you four condors so early. <laughs> like it's so weird that you just like, it, can run into it. There's a mandatory thing later with it, so it's like, yes. why bother doing any of it right now? Damn it. Exactly. Why did I do these things that I do? Yeah. Fairbrand said, "Ignore right, this right. until the plot demands you stop." Okay. I might just skip this. We're, we're, we're burning daylight here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... Though it would be nice if I had a Chocobo so I could run to Junin, but, you know... I don't think it's that far. <sighs> Sweet. Just try to follow Memories. the west coast and head north. Okay. All the west coast. Uh, Is this the coast? That's a coast. I mean... Just keep following. It's one of the coasts. 
consonants are very strangely shaped. They are. Like, what What natural process makes this shit happen? Right? I don't understand. Oh, this weird vampire cactus. I have a feeling Bird. that the world map designers did not have a foam grass or plate tectonics. Because you can't have a jiggy jaggy <laughs> coast on all coasts. That's not the way shit works. <laughs> I like that they just did what they wanted. Obviously, there's other forces at work in this world, Ryan. Ooh, we and leveled then, up something that I ignored again. I mean, I'm, look, I'm looking at this map. It yeah. looks like there's an ice pit up top, right? How can you have a desert and ice like this? They're like two degrees of latitude. The planet apart. must be in a very unique band. I think we got lightning, too. So we got something fun out of this. Bolt, okay. too, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to make a 13 joke, but I can't figure it out. Lightning. To lightning the lightning returns. Sure, there it is. <laughs> Here we are. The problem is that's lightning uh, three. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do you see this giant cannon? Uh, yeah. Junon. Oh. Junon. Junin. Junon. Mm. What happened to this town? It's so run down. <laughs> wow, now this is rare. We almost never have anyone other than the Shinra people visit this town. Yep, this is beautiful looking. Also, yet another in instance of, like, Shinra's policies stifling, like, like everybody, like, the towns are run here. down. And... I think you can see people. Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. All I know is that there's a way to rest here for free. According to my guide. Not not necessarily this room. I mean, by here I mean this town. Oh, okay. I don't know what that room, unless I'm missing something. In my guide it says old woman's house. I see old woman, I see house, I think. Oh, that's probably I thought where this she's was at. an old, old, old man. Oh, okay. Seems to be balding on top. Not that that means anything, but... I just figured it was like a shine on the top of her. Green oh, hair. maybe. But, hmm. but, um... Mysteries. Mysteries, but Nibelheim was like this too, kind of. You know, like jobs were sort of taken away, things were deteriorating a little bit. Building giant cannons. I mean, <coughs> diverting funds to military spending. Mm. Sound familiar, Ryan? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't need eleven of those, those please. <laughs> Jesus. Well, now I've got mithril armlets. Why do you have seven? Oh, because well, you have. Okay, that's what? fine. You own seven. But you only have six characters, <laughs> so you don't know. <laughs> sort of, sort of confusing. Hold on, <laughs> let me sell one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> metal knuckle. The heck is a metal knuckle? Where is it, Ryan? Help me find it. Uh, Use your eyes. Top left. Okay. Was there nothing else you had? <sighs> no. Okay. Grenades and stuff. Sad. That was a Donald Trump, Trump <laughs> quote, by the way. <laughs> Ever since Shinra built that city up above during the war, uh, uh, it's been no fish in the water. Got so polluted. Phew. See? They're destroying everyone's natural um, means of subsistence, whether that's local mining industries or fisheries, and overdeveloping them. Hey, Mr. Dolphin! <laughs> this is my favorite thing. My name is... Priscilla. Now you say it. Oh, Priscilla. Who are you guys? Are you members of the Shinra Inc.? <laughs> no, you're wrong. We have nothing to do with the Shinra. That's how it is. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Great. Whoa, God! <laughs> it's just reinforcing your accent choice for her. I think. Yeah, I, I, whenever I accidentally say God, I always think of Yuffie. Because she, hers is always typed G-A-W-D. <laughs> Be careful, Mr. Dolphin. <laughs> I'm sorry I just walked us into a boss fight. I kind of forgot this is down here. Whoops. Rip us. <coughs> oh. Hey, hold on, we're coming. You also picked a party that's entirely 
character voice it by you. Oh, sorry. I didn't no, know I mean, it's that. fine. It's just the <laughs> burden's on you. I'll try to voice as many NPCs That's as okay. possible. That's okay. Did not save. <coughs> like a total business. This thing looks crazy. I need to know its name. Uh, Bottom Swell. <laughs> bottom Swell. That's what happens when you eat bad seafood. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Uh, We're gonna choke mock him. Too much dairy. Yeah, bottom swell. Bottom swell is really cool though. Bottom swell and is I, really cool. I, I could be wrong, but I feel like bottom swell is supposed to be a product probably of Shinra's pollution. Not All the, the, not the fish the, are dead, you know. So you think it's pollution and not monster creation? Or maybe yeah, something like that. Now is there a, a power plant here in this town? Um, I think so. Oh okay. So it's like every town has a power plant. So. Yeah. Bubbled. I have been bubbled. The boy in the bubble. Ugh. Oh, we can't poison the fish. Well, it's already been poisoned. Oh, I can't even break the... Oh, wait. What do you mean it's already been poisoned? Well, I mean... Sorry. Not, not oh, mechanic. I see what you're saying. Uh, okay. Sure. Just kill the fly. See what it's like. Trying to break that. Okay, there we go. Ah, nice. The base in this is just wild. It feels like they reuse the imprisoning mechanic pretty quickly between boss fights. They do a lot, actually. Oh, really? Let's... Or, I mean, Reno did the same thing with the... Uh... That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Reno did it, and now this fish is doing it. Well, I guess Reno wasn't that recent. We just Not a, really, yeah. Like, boss fights between them. This boss is so weird. It's kind of like... It's very, it's very stuttery. It progress. looks like it's, it's missing a big chunk of its flesh on its back end. I think it's, it might it's be. It's just bones back there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's got like a skeleton tail. Skeleton. Oh, weird. Oh, it, we can target it and... It's it's considered an enemy. So yeah. All cast is going to target the bubble as well. That's pretty cool. Um, let's steal from here. Do it. Can't reach. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we, we did this again. Can you see if there's anything <coughs> stealable from this young man? Let's try. Let's try. Um... Bottom Swell is a flying boss, and the characters equipped with long range weapons. Oh no, hit. big wave! I think is this is. Ah. Okay. Of course, its steel is not listed. Why would it be? Why would it be? Mm -hmm. Was big wave the same skill used by the monster beneath Don Corneo? Oh, we beat it. Pretty cool. No, that was uh, tsunami. Tsunami. Okay. We got a power wrist. Nice. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Is that uh... I think it's an accessory, but I'm not sure.